After returning to the sleeping quarters of the barracks, I collapse into my bunk. A face appears above me shortly after, not content to let me lie down. So where did you go, Raylan? Kara dragged me to the baths. They were... Interesting. Interesting? In a good way or a bad way? Interesting in a way that I put chocolate- I mean, I leave that to your imagination. So, remember how I asked you to do some far-seeing for me before? Uh... Have you done that? Mm. Oh, I had completely forgotten about that. Shamefully, I shake my head at her. I'm so sorry, Gwen. You worry too much. You can do it right now, can't you? Well, there's no reason why I can't. I need a vague idea of what I'm looking for first. Uh. Silently, she seems to be deliberating with herself. I wonder why that could be. It's in the noble quarters of the capital. There was an old library that I worked at. I'm just wondering if it's doing well since I left. So? All choices are you, Matt. Who's? Uh, we'll leave it. Leave it? Yeah. Okay, I won't ask about the details. I clear my mind and try to picture her library in my head. Unusual, usually a vision forms fairly quickly, but I'm not having any luck this time. No matter how much I try to focus, I find nothing with her directions. The problem with my gift is that when it looks for something specific, it can't find that thing if it no longer exists. I've been able to find the ruins of my old home. Yeah, I have never been able to find my ruins of my old home because of this. They've changed way too drastically since I was last there. So, what I've been trying to do is blind see into the mires, but even that's not working. Opening my eyes, I see a hopeful Gwen staring at me. We're at the light work. What did you see? Is it doing well since I left? I see nothing, Gwen. Wow, straight to the truth. Damn. It no longer exists. Thus, I cannot see it. I... I, I see. Are you sure it no longer exists? I mean, it's like two blocks away, Gwen. Just fucking lo I mean, I can see nothing spe something specific. Yeah. I can't see something specific if it doesn't exist, Gwen, for the fourth fucking time. Oh my I, god. I, I was just really banking on it, damn it. I'm sorry. Well... Just, just forget about it then. My heart is broken, my dreams crushed. No, let's just not bring this up again. She's visibly upset. What exactly does this library mean to her? Do you console her or just not give a fuck? It's very tempting not to give a fuck. All right, let's ask if she's okay. Are you okay, Gwen? I'm fine, Raylan. Really, I'm fine. She doesn't sound fine, though. It's almost like she's about to break into tears. What a crybaby. She quickly disappears before I can say anything else. What exactly did that library mean to her? Is it something to do with her life before she became a soldier? Maybe it would be a good idea to leave it alone. And never speak of it again. So I have another day off. My training regime is in the afternoon. I have most of the day to do with as I please. Where should I spend my time? Lots of choices so far. I know. Let's have a look at the shops. Because I know exactly what's going to happen if we go to the castle. <laughs> I decided to spend my time in the marketplace. As we transition there. Through teleportation. All of my equipment and food is provided for me at the barracks, but it would be nice to buy something for myself for a change. I just hope I can find something nice within my meager price range. As I wander through the shop windows, a particular item catches my eye. A simple pearl necklace displayed in the front of a jeweler's. I already know that I could never afford it. Steal it! <laughs> Pearls have become extremely rare now since no one can reach the coastline to dive for them. It reminds me of my mother. 
She used to have a pearl necklace, which she treasured before we had to flee from our homelands. Give her a pearl necklace. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, God. Why? Uh, never mind. I remember the pain look on her face at the thought of leaving it behind. You were thinking it. I was thinking it. You s <laughs> When you make innuendo like that, it's hard not to. I my water doesn't come up on the mic. It does. Oh, right. But life is always more precious than any worldly treasure. She Sorry. couldn't afford to waste any time to look for it. Sorry, future Brett, when you're editing this. Stop fucking talking over my lines, and maybe future editing won't get pissed at you. I do what I want. Ugh. I was only a... <laughs> I was only little when we fled for our lives that day. What other treasures were in our house? I know for certain that I've forgotten about some of them. Why are we- oh my god, who are you? It's an actual man! It is an actual man. Okay! It's not a guard guy who's bored. It's an actual person! Wow. An actual guy. That's extremely rare for these fucking games. Well, I've never seen this guy before, so... Alright. I mean... Okay. I wonder if he has dialogue. As I linger in front of the stall, I look up to notice a massive man standing behind it. He cheerily grins at me, looking at the pearl necklace I'm eyeing off. Eyeing off? Oh, hey, he does have lines. Did the necklace interest you, my friend? <laughs> of course he has that voice. Pearls are a rare luxury these days. You won't find a cheaper pearl necklace anywhere else in the capital. Fucking find a cheaper one, and I'm sure I would be willing to undercut it. Yeah, just stay by the mic. So would you be willing to purchase this? I know I could forward a request with the Empress to purchase this <laughs> necklace for me. Buy shit for me! <laughs> because it's super import to m important to my mission that I have this pearl necklace. Wink, wink. But I'd feel guilty doing that. Wow. Not really. I couldn't afford it. But surely you desire it. Don't you? I saw that longing look in your... Eyes. Longing look? Am I really that homesick? Uh, just seeing anything that reminds me of home is enough to make me long for it. It doesn't matter if I can desire it or not if I can't afford it. No, this is not an appropriate attitude for a warrior. Or... An entrepreneur. Or anyone. Really? If you want something, then you should do your best to acquire it. Allowing yourself to be defeated before you can even start is pure foolishness. I wasn't expecting to meet such a passionate jeweler when I looked at this necklace. He's becoming very animated now. I bet you this guy part-times at the fucking, uh, Senate. He's the- <laughs> he's the board guard. <laughs> yeah, he has that voice, but when he's in his armor, he just gives bored robot voice. I can't help but smile at him. All of the gems you see here, I acquired all of them through hard work. And dedication. I used to live in the slums. Everyone told me that I could never make something better. For myself. Yet here I am. I have my own jeweler store, selling some of the rarest gems in... The capital. So, friend, do not tell me that you can't... Do it. If I can do it, then... Anyone can. The pearl necklace is never truly out of... Reach. No dream truly is. What is with this fucking shopkeeper? Is he, is he moonlights as like a fucking <laughs> motivational speaker? Motivational shopkeeper. It's how he gets you to buy shit. Man, he's got a good strategy, to be honest. Make, make the customer feel good and trick them into buying useless crap. <laughs> so how much do motivational speeches cost when he's selling them? So when you say you can't afford it... It merely means you must push forward. Until you can. He reaches for the pearl necklace and stuffs it into his shirt. <laughs> now reach for it. How about we make a premise? My friend. I will hold on to your necklace until you can purchase it. Yourself. I do not know what book of life you will come from, but I am sure you will be able to reach 
for great heights. All you need to do is push forward. So will you accept this challenge? Will you strive to acquire the pearl necklace? This is obviously a very elaborate sales pitch. But with a grin like that on his face, how could I refuse him? Challenge accepted, shopkeeper. Your pearl necklace will be mine. Give me that pearl necklace. Get the spirit. His grin only grows even wider. Despite the fact his face never changed. Though he's a salesperson, he doesn't appear to be a dishonest one. That's a beard you can trust. <laughs> he is also a damn good at scurry securing a deal, it seems. Though he might have to wait a while before I can even think of buying that necklace. Pure necklace aside, is there any other of my wares that catches your eye? I have many other gems, heirlooms, and trinkets which will undoubtedly impress. They don't cost as much as a pearl necklace either. Even now, he's not satisfied with just one sale. He's pushing as hard as he can. Oh god. I won it's no wonder he built this from nothing. After a quick glance, I can tell that there's nothing else that I could want from his stall. Are you sure? No, no, I really should be going soon anyway. He doesn't stop grinning despite me brushing him off. He doesn't stop grinning! Suit yourself, friend. Do drop by again. I am here every day of the week, exactly in the same spot. I never move because I am an NPC in an RPG. This is my only place of existence. Remember to challenge the impossible in everything you do. A very motivational NPC. He quickly moves to the next customer, pitching his wares all too keenly. Well, I guess I have one more reason to make it back. Get that guy's pearl necklace. <laughs> if only this cherry... Oh, hi. Cherry shopkeeper. Uh, cheery shopkeeper knew the pearls I'm going to fit. Par <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. Whatever. But he's right. I have to make sure that I face all challenges ahead with bravery and conviction. Thank you, surprisingly motivational shopkeeper. <laughs> I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to buy that necklace if I come back, though. The only way I could make enough profit by to do that is by looting, which is definitely out of the question. Either way, I should be returning to the barracks. Not looting if you're dead. My training will begin soon. Well, if they're dead. If they're dead, yes. Rob their corpses. This is one of the few nights that I could... F that I find sleep... Bleh, fuck. Find sleep taking me. I've been so exhausted lately. Kira's training regime is nothing short of brutal. Damn right. She's doing her best to get me into shape to take on the Myers. The pillow on my bed looks so inviting tonight. I'm probably not going to get many more chances for a good night's rest. So I had better make the most of this. As I collapse onto my bed, I feel the strange sense of vertigo. Almost like when I'm far-seeing. I don't care, though. I just want this day to fucking end. Drifting off into the realm of dreams, I feel a strange sense of control. I'm dreaming about... Kara! Okay. That was an instant answer. I am awake already? It's daytime in the barracks, but there's no one else around. I can't help but panic a little bit. Wait, calm down. This is a dream. It could only be a dream. The dream is collapsing! I begin wandering through the halls, curious to see how different they are in this dream world. To my shock, a hand shoots out of Kira's office and drags me in. That is terrifying. I'm about to fight back when I see it's Kira. Her face is bright red. Raylan, what are you doing here? I don't know. Is something wrong with me being here? Not at all. Raylan, I have a request of you. She comes closer to me. But what what kind of request? Ah! Oh, fucking called it! Kiss me. I cannot help but hesitate. Then I see the look on her face. Now I'm a believer. <laughs> da, 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 da. Please, kiss me. So much Yuri. 
It's a command, but there is no harshness to it. Even if there was, I am gladly follow it. Eagerly, I slip between her arms and allow my lips to entwine it with hers. I allow my breastplate to fall to the floor, freeing my chest from its confines. Luckily, I was wearing this bra underneath for some reason. Now there's no barriers left between me and her. Despite the fact that we're wearing bras. Nothing separating us as we move closer and closer to each other. Still got the bras. As my chest presses up against hers, I can't help but reveal the f revel in the feeling. Being in her embrace, I feel so safe. She's sometimes harsh, but there's a kindness beneath it. Her touch is so gentle, completely unlike what I was expecting. Brett, why don't you try like getting closer to the microphone? We can do like an ASMR thing. <laughs> like, <sighs> because that's what people want to hear. You breathe into the mic. Hang on, here I got some water. Let me. Oh, Way to just ruin this entire bullshit. It's not the harsh discipline of the instructor, but the sensual touch of someone who loves you. This feels so natural to me. That ruins it too. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one who feels that way. She moves me to her bed and places me onto it. All so slowly she slides over me. You bought this on Steam, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Steam only really Steam only really bans like straight up nudity. Implied sexual situations is totally a okay. Okay then. <laughs> Together we lie there as one. This is what it's like to love, and to be loved. I do not think I could abandon this feeling for anything. Kira would never be like this if it weren't a dream. Some small part of me feels disappointed as I think about this, but I don't care. Oh, it all feels right to me now, real to me now, whatever. I'm glad I'm the one that did all these voices, because this would get really fucking weird <laughs> really fucking quick. I mean, you're my friend, Brad. Well, consider... Just... Uh, spoiler alert, the other two choices were Gwen and the Empress. No so those shit. Would, those would have been me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you chose the right one. Yeah, I fucking did. <laughs> Her warm, tan skin rubbing against mine. Her finger dips into... Wait, what? Her fingertips <laughs> dig into my hips. I I read that in a completely different way that took it to a completely another level. <clears throat> it's strange. I'm the one who usually leads. But now we stand equal to each other. Sure you do. And I would rather not have it any other way. Her knee slips between my thighs as she leans down to kiss me. Right. Say it, damn it! Uh, I feel so much younger now. All this uncertainty, this anxiety. I don't know what it was about <laughs> that line, but it instantly made me think of, like, Severus Snape. Doing these lines, and that's, <laughs> that's an image. Oh my god. Weasley. <laughs> I haven't felt this way in years. Her fingertips slowly move around my hips until she firmly grips them. I thought anxious too. And thus the mood was ruined. <laughs> you can hear the glass shatter. <laughs> I don't know why, though. It's only natural to feel that way. She lies on her side and looks at me. Her smile is warmer than I've ever seen it before. You are a troublemaker. Always looking places you're not supposed to. But you are a troublemaker that I like. Watch this not be brought up again for the rest of this entire thing. It's a f dream, dude. It's a dream, but I mean, it's a dream where they're both fantasizing about each other. Are you sure they're both? It's her dream. Whose dream? Raylan entered her dream. What? Raylan entered Kira's dream. That's part of her weird power. I thought it was just her far seeing or her having an own dream because she said she was sleeping. She entered her she entered her dream. Well thanks, fucking spoiler Brett. I think you only find out about it if you do the Empress path. Because the Empress is fully aware. Okay. So this is why she's never punished me for spying on her. Because she liked it. It's all starting to make a lot of sense now. A sudden tiredness begins to seize me. I can't keep my eyes open no matter how hard I try. 
The world around me begins to fade away into blackness. As I came to, I realized that Kira hasn't come by to wake us up. I've overslept! I quickly throw on my armor and head to her office. As I slowly open the door, I find her just standing just adjacent to her bed. Kira, are you okay? I I'm fine, I... We may or may not have just had dream sex. I don't know. Just this strange dream. You... You were in it, you, you troublemaker. You dirty troublemaker. She quickly barges past me and heads down the hall. What was that all about? Oh, I don't fucking know. Damn it. I splashed water on me. Good job. And nothing else. The sun is at its peak, its burning light boiling me alive in my armor. Just another day of hard training. After those odd dreams I had... Fucking, you know exactly what you did, Raylan. I had last night, the dr distraction is more than welcome. Kira wasn't lying about this training regime. It's only tougher... It's tougher than anything I've ever done before. She's just fine, though. Better than she's been in ages. I'm very impressed with your progress, Raylan. Your reflexes are good, your striking is good, and your ability to wield a shield is good. Just remember that your opponent will always be unpredictable. While it's nice to hear her praising me, I wonder if she's really okay with me going out into the mires. You're going to need your wits out there, Raylan. I know your foreseeing is useful, but... I don't know how well it will serve you in the mires. Most soldiers sent out into the mires have gifts best suited for combat. Yours is better suited to... Other things. Non-combat related things. Like spying on me when I'm sleeping. You fucking weirdo. It doesn't take a genius to guess what she means there. But... I'm best suited to sneaking peeks on people when they think they aren't being watched. Do you know what my gift is, Raylan? Come to think of it, she never told me about her gift, nor ever showed its effects. I don't. You never actually used that while you were here. My gift doesn't make itself apparent so easily. It's these giant floppy tits. It is the gift of stone. As if to show it, she takes one fist and slams it into a nearby training dummy. The dummy explodes in a shower of splinters. I have to raise my shield to block it in time. Even with the gauntlet she's wearing, that impact should have broken her fingers. Show me how to do that. You should show me how to do that. If you had my gift, of course I would. But you don't, so I'll show you how to crack some skulls with a mace instead. I don't concern myself with armor most of the time. That's apparent. My skin is harder than any plate metal in the capital. Your skin doesn't look like it's made of stone, though. Looks can be deceiving, especially if you're in the mires. Don't judge things by their appearance alone, Raylan. It's kept me safe in the past, especially when I was on the walls. There are some colossal beasts that have attacked the walls sometimes. We called them siege beasts. Being stepped on by one isn't a pleasant experience, even with a gift like mine. But I lived. That's the important thing. Good job. You've just fucking... That's gonna show up. Yeah, especially when you bring fucking attention to it. I will bring attention to it. Keep reading, damn it. Far seeing won't be able to protect you in a pinch like that. So you'll need to rely on your skills and your wits. Just keep that in mind, Raylan. I'll be watching your back too, Kira. Oh yeah. Aren't you the aren't you the one who's going to need it though? Gwen told me that we all needed to look out for each other out there. We can't rely on ourselves alone. So I'll watch you too. I probably won't need it, but I appreciate that, Raylan. Even if my armor and shield fails me, my skin is protection enough. I'm really curious to see what Gwen will do with her gift, too. To be able to call lightning from the heavens. She could probably- what? When the fuck did that come up? I, thought I, th her... I think they did mention that she had lightning powers earlier. I thought her gift was like fucking super organization. No, that's not a gift. That's just a talent. Alright. She could probably obliterate a siege beast with her gift. <sighs> lightning. 
We've done gift training in the past with novices, but she's always held herself back. What she did there, and what she could potentially do... I guess the creator smiled on her when she received her gift. My best hope for her is that she doesn't set the Mayas alight by accident. Oh, but we're forgetting something, aren't we, Raylan? That I'm supposed to be training? That I'm supposed to be training? Exactly. You can always get better. Show me a shield bash. Wincing, I begin to follow her instructions again, wielding my training weapons to the best of my ability. 